Building a cart completely from scratch is one hell of an undertaking. Designing and manufacturing a road cart will be tricky, but what about a car that has to do 200 miles an hour and take corners quicker than anything but a modern F1 car? We're at Janetta HQ to see how they made this thing, a full-blooded LMP1 car, completely from scratch. This is the Janetta G60 LTP1. It's being built right now, but it's going to be going racing. Now, this car can't quite keep up with the hybrid Toyotas without a bit of balance of performance, but it's quicker around Silverstone than a Porsche 919 ever was. So you need a car that's going to hit serious top-end speed, be safe to crash at those speeds, create a shed load of downforce, and also be able to race flat out for at least 24 hours. Where do you even start? Well, I guess you start with a pencil and a bit of paper, and these were the original renders for the P1 car, and it's safe to say these are very different to what the car ended up with. But Alan, you're a designer at Janetta. How do you start when your boss comes to you and says, right, we want to make a prototype, how do you start the whole process? So we start off and try and uh, think of a, an idea or a direction for the sort of the visual style of the car. So uh, we've got various different uh, sort of starting points, and it's a case really of just uh, throwing ideas out there and seeing, uh, seeing what we like the look of and also seeing what we think could work. Do you need a complete understanding of the regulations or do you just go completely arty? So in the initial stages you can pretty much do what you want. Obviously in the back of your mind you've always got to think well at some point this is going to have to turn into a real car so yeah. it's uh, a process of just starting off completely free and then honing in on, on the, uh, the final design. So we've gone from, you could say, the arty side and now we're getting stuck into the proper engineering. So these are the CAD models that create the LMP1 car and it's a very heavily regulated series. So you basically start with a whole load of regulations. It's going to be a load of hard points, which is why these cars, you could say, look quite similar. So Ash, you're a design engineer at Janetta. How do you create that first CAD model of a P1 car? Like you said, we basically get the regulation templates and then we shrink wrap our bodywork around those templates. Okay. Try and keep it as tight as possible and then maximise the aerodynamic gains. And that classic regulation of having a passenger seat in the car still exists for Le Mans, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. So if you look at our LMP1 car today, we have to make sure that the driver can get in and out both sides of the car. With this CFD model, so you're simulating a wind tunnel essentially. What are you looking for in the CFD image? We're just looking for a good correlation between what we think was going to happen with our surface design to what actually is happening in the real world. Um, so in this particular case we've got high pressure region on the rear wheel arch that we might not like because of the drag targets we've set. Okay so this is all air pressure? Yeah exactly, high pressure. In order to reduce the drag of the car we might want to look at modifying that shape okay. and then develop the car further from there. Now we come to my favourite part, the scale wind tunnel model. So this is a 50% scale of the real car and it looks much smaller than that, but I guess once you scale everything on the car down by that amount, it's this size. It was built by Williams to be simulated in the Williams wind tunnel and it is literally the P1 car, but smaller. It has everything on it. I expected it to be so much simpler than this just a kind of simple form of the rough shape of the car, but it is the full car with all the aerodynamic bits on it. It's got full suspension, so you can measure pitch angles and everything. It's got proper wheels on it so that these can spin and you can analyze the weight from the wheels. In here, you've got the brakes that can spin, the wheel bearings, all the suspension is in there. Back here, you have all the engine and gearbox, all cadded up, all 3D printed, so that everything is there for you to fully analyse the car. It's incredibly cool and I want one so badly. Now Peter, I'm slightly obsessed with this thing. I really want it in my front room, but when people look at it, it might seem quite an old school way to go about things, considering how far CFD has come. So where is there still use for a wind tunnel model in terms of race car engineering? Yeah, so Obviously, CFD is massively powerful. Um, it's constantly evolving, so there's lots of technology 
uh, lots of input into that. So there's still limitations with it. There's, there's things that we can do with a WODMAP model that we can't do in CFD. Well, I guess you're finished with it, so can we have it for the drive permit? <laughs> no, it's, it, I, I'm having it first. <laughs> Janetta prides itself on designing everything bar the G60's engine in-house. And the centerpiece of all of this is the carbon fibre monocoque, and we've got one just over here. It's an optimised enclosed skeleton that really shrink wraps around the drivers and it's from where the rest of the LMP1 car sprouts. So this is where the engine attaches, the twin turbocharged V6, but that's not the only thing that makes this car fast, it's also all the rest of the bodywork. Now this is cool, this is the lowest point on the car and you can see that it's been skirting along the track and picking up rubber from the surface. I can literally rake off bits of rubber. So we've got the thing that every LMP1 car has nowadays, the shark fin. We've got the side pods here. We've got the face of the car, the front nose here with the front lip, and then the biggest dive planes, front canards I have ever seen on a racing car. The rear wing, which is the end of the shark fin on it. Not too big a diffuser, but that's all dictated by the LMP1 rules. And then if you come around here, We've got the shark fin, the rear bodywork, but all liveried up. It's the coolest Lego set in the world. If you like race car content, then ex Janetta racer and Olympic champion Sir Chris Hoy has a new series on Motor Trend which we think you'll be into. Here's a quick clip. Cycling legend Sir Chris Hoy is swapping two wheels wow. for four what could possibly go wrong? in search of his dream job. What a ride! Oh, shakes, yeah. Dream jobs with Chris Hoy exclusively on Motor Trend. Download the app and start your free trial today. If you like the look of that, there's a link in the description below. Anyway, back to the G60. The car was put together remarkably quickly and then we had access to an event that you'd never get close to in Formula One a private shakedown. Testing everything from pit limiters to flat out accelerations, the airfield test gave us a small insight into what the G60 is capable of. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what goes into developing an LMP1 car. Janetta have been absolute legends giving us this sort of access. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe.